Hey guys, Penna Daily here, and welcome back to uh, Legend of Zelda. Right keyboard. Legend of Zelda: The Hero's Memory, Zelda Classic. We're gonna play. We're gonna move on. In the last episode, uh, as you can see, I ground up for the blue tunic, and we're gonna take on level one today, and maybe other stuff. As you can see, I have almost no rupees, but I do have all the bombs, because I ground up in that cave. And you will find just about everything in that cave. That was the wrong direction. Uh, I am not always... well, that was a jerk. Not worried. I'll find a heart on my way. I always do. Also, it's not that difficult a dungeon. Really? There we go. See? Alright. Just go this way. Now we're in the Silver Woods, or the Silver Forest, excuse me. Some of this music isn't even Zelda music. It, I know some of the music we'll hear is from Terranigma, Quest 64, and possibly Legacy of the Wizard. So, yeah. I'm just not good enough at... I, I haven't played most of those games, and I'm not good enough with Zelda music to tell you what's what most of the time. Sometimes I know. So, without further ado... Level 1, Forbidden Woods. These things shoot at you like statues. Unlike statues, though, you can kill them. And these don't shoot at you. Other ones will. And we've got gel. I think these are some of the only gel we actually see. We could go through that door, but there isn't... It wouldn't get us anywhere. So, instead... This place might look familiar to you, and the name might also look familiar to you, and you'll see why that is much later. I like the... the aesthetic. And we could get some ammo if we needed it, but right now we don't. Watch out for these jerks. Yeah, with the... With the regular sword, these guys take three hits, and the blue ones that we nearly got killed by in that one place up in the mountains, they take six. Yeah. And these are pea hats. Ignore them. Okay, I do not know what these little things are, aside from annoying. I do know that if you kill the right one, sometimes they all go away. The leader phenomenon, like in original Legend of Zelda. And we've got a flower of sorts blocking the path. Hmm. Okay, first we're gonna come this way. You can see there's rupees there. We'll deal with them later. Grinding these, uh, the dungeons are actually pretty good places to grind rupees because you will get just, you have to kill things. It's easy enough to slash pots and bushes in any, that was strange, in any room that you're in. So, yeah. If you need to grind up rupees, grind them up in here. Okay. These things are sort of like levers. Ah. And if and obviously we can't th go through there because we don't have the boss key yet. But now this looks really, really intimidating. And then of course you can see where we've been versus uh, where we have to go. It's not nearly as bad as it looks, I promise. need to kill all of you guys. I'm just gonna kill you. Kill you guys, and that door opens. And of course, that's where we need to go. Nothing else we can do just yet. So. Alright. Come in here. Yeah, don't. Be careful, especially in this dungeon. These plant things really like 
to appear out of the ground when you least expect it. So now we have a key. Yeah, I don't know why I'm grinding. I mean, rupees are nice, but yeah, okay. So we're just going to ignore those guys. Come in here. As far as I know, I don't think there's anything in here. But we can find out. Just... The nice thing is that you can stay in the door and not get hit. P-hats, of course, cannot be killed until they hold still. Well, except for... In, there is one item much later in the game that will let you kill P-hats without them holding still. Also, we can, you know, kill these things, mostly. There we go. Good. <sighs> That's one less thing. I do not actually remember if there's anything in this room. If there is, I think it's money, but just wait. Waiting for P-hats to slow down is always one of the most annoying things, but you always sort of want, especially if you're playing a game blind, you do want to kill everything in the room. Because you never know when it's going to turn out that that's where the compass is. You going to slow down anytime soon, dude? Come on. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, apparently there was a 20 rupee thing there. As I said, do not step too f into the room too far too fast. Hmm. What do we do? This should be pretty obvious. Since you can see... Yeah. And I don't believe your own bombs hurt you in this quest, which is nice and not always true of Zelda Classic. Careful. There we go. Kill you too. And of course you can grind up lots of stuff from these bushes, but... Well, I do need a bomb, but eh. And so we've got this room. I'm just gonna go until I find a bomb or I get every... bush, one or the other. <sighs> that noise means, generally, that you've gotten magic. Really, no bombs. No bombs. Or... Yeah, you can come... If you come behind the tree and then try to move into the tree there are stairs pretty much right directly behind the tree so come through here remember that your <sighs> ow creep uh, remember that your boomerang can kill gel N unlike of course original zelda this version will register ha quarter hard hits so yeah all right Obviously, we want to kill everything in here. You don't have to... Really? You don't have to kill the sh the statue, the shooter, the plant shooters. They don't count as enemies for purposes of kill every enemy in the room. But they do drop stuff, and it's kind of nice sometimes not to have them shooting at you. Okay. I don't know how well you can see. Uh, these rooms aren't really dark, dark. They're dim, but I can see what's going on. They're not like dark rooms, like in the original, which needed the candle. No. That's not quite what's going on here. Okay. Head down again. And of course, these creeps come out to play. Just keep stabbing at them and... And here we get the compass. That's pretty nice. Do I get a bomb? I do not get a bomb. Okay. And we kill everything in here, of course. Good. Uh, these little guys. Uh, you have probably saw them in the Oracle games. Alright. I'm going to put a bomb down. But we're not going to go that way just yet. We will, but right now, but first there's other stuff to do. I was really hoping for a bomb. Oh well. Sometimes you get bombs and sometimes you don't. There we go. So we come along this way, and as you can see, 
you know, we can't go up and we can't go down, so just keep going this way. Thank you! That's one bomb down. And of course, those are Deku scrubs if you haven't figured it out, by the way. I'm not sure why they're in here. Kill you. Kill you. We get some more ammo, not that we needed it, but... Come up here. And that noise should sound familiar. Yeah, that's the sound of the boss, which is near us, technically. Man, I hope I'm going in the right direction. I think I am. Okay. Yes, yes I am. We'll have we will actually have to wind up making our way all the way back. So if we come in here, not all breakable walls have cracks. Outside of here, almost none of them do. Bomb to find them. Bomb everywhere. Yeah, that's... There are only two ways that you are going to find breakable walls. By bombing the living crap out of the surroundings, or by getting an item that we will not be able to get for uh, quite a while. Or, of course, option three, you've played the game before and know what you're looking for. Ignoring you guys. Ugh. Hate the hats. Okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> Don't really need you. And not gonna ju just not gonna bother grinding. Ow. Well, that was poor. Yeah, that was just bad situational awareness there. Ah, Garayas. Now I am gonna basically slash everything in here. Good. And maybe I'll get a bomb. What do you say, guys? Thank you! Maybe I'll get more bombs? I need two more bombs to be full up. Alright. Okay, then. Good. Alright. Go this way. We can kill this thing. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. Kill you. Freeze you. Kill you. Kill you. And we get a key. Yes, we came all this way for a key. And now we're going to go all the way back for a key. Well, it's not quite that bad. Because we don't actually have to backtrack. We can come through here. Careful. Money is always good. And here we are again. So, now we come back through here. I don't know why I'm... Well, because they're drops. And as you can see, these jerks are all back, so... Let's see. Quick. One nice thing is that you can, in fact, slice two bushes at once. I don't think there's anything here. And I'm not staying to kill the freaking pea hats. Kill that thing. More money is always good. Okay. Kill the bats in here. Yes, you can. as you can see, you can throw your boomerang at an angle. I'm just not very good at it. Okay. And we come through here. Now, you can come back through that uh, door to go back, but there actually isn't much of a reason to. So, yeah. Ha! Kill you. Kill you. Two. Yeah. And, you know, I'm just gonna keep trying for money and bombs. Can't do anything about that flower yet. Though, if you remember where you've seen those flowers, you might have some idea. Because, yes, they've been in Zelda before. Okay. We can go up there, but we're not ready to just yet. Actually, we are. Sorry, that'll take us back to the... If you note, see, that takes us back to the front. Luckily, it's not actually a one-way door. 
Yeah, these guys like to hide back there. I know you're still back there. Jerk. And they like to ambush you. So here we have a mini boss. He's immune to our boomerang. Of course he is. Stay out of the way. Just keep hitting him. Good. And now we can come down here. And we get the boss key. Uh-oh. Yes, I already got this. I somehow forgot that we got the... I'm okay, really. All right. Well, we're going to go back and deal with that flower then. How did I forget in however long it took that we actually already picked up that slingshot? Uh, whatever. All right. Anyway, so if we come this way and we use our slingshot, the flower disappears and we get a ton of money. Which can be pretty nice. Slingshot, of course, he is. Uh, it uses ammo. And, yeah, you don't really get... You do get the bow much later, but it's not... Basically, Slingshot will be your thing. So. And it's pretty nice. I mean, because unlike in other games, it's actually useful. Okay, that's not really fair to Ocarina of Time. Uh, the slingshot was useful in Ocarina of Time when you were a kid. It just wasn't as good as the bow. Which is why Majora's Mask just gives you the bow. And as you can see, here we are right back at the front of the dungeon. You can... This is one of those quests that if you die or save and reload, you start again with full HP at the front at the front of the dungeon, which is a change made since, um, I don't need it. A change made in the June update. Careful. There we go. You want to be, yeah, you don't want to get hit with those guys, and they can be, you actually can knock their boomerangs away with your own boomerang, which can get you confused as to which boomerang is which. So. Man, I have been having no luck hitting the leader this time. Oh well. So if we come through here, we get five rupees. To quote H.C. Bailey, better than a sharp stick in the eye. Okay. We don't have to kill these guys. We're going to, because they're here and they annoy us. We're just probably going to ignore these guys, though. I should have gotten Peladay. Uh, I don't need it. Okay. These guys are going to be back. They're kind of nice because, really, as long as you're careful and hold your ground... And see, I didn't need the pellet ammo after all. <sighs> yeah, if you're careful and hold your ground, those things can't really do a lot of damage to you. So. Aha! Nice. Thank you. Yes, I am sort of deliberately not finding the thing that we need to find until I'm done. So, yeah, this is a good place to grind, too, if there's something you need. Ha! Die, bats. I don't like keys. And now look where we are. Eh, just ignore these guys. And here's our boss. Manhandla. Okay, well, let's see. If we... Well, that worked poorly. Uh, you also have to kill the Zol. And this is why you want... Oh, jeez. Well, this could be bad. I don't... I died! Okay, well, I get to show you. I swear I'm usually better than this. Uh, yeah, continue. <laughs> Luckily, we're full up. Well, we're not full on bombs, but really, who cares? I mean... The other thing you can do, and might want to do, is, uh, just... You go after the guy with, uh, your sword. Usually, I don't have that much trouble. Oh, well. Such is life. Uh, only one guy respawns this time. The respawn mechanics in this game, in this quest, are a little strange. 
Sometimes the whole room will respawn, and sometimes just one guy. Or... See? There, I got the leader. Okay, that's a lot of... M Thank you? Come on, I used up a lot of bombs that I really probably shouldn't have. You're, you're probably really supposed to kill that guy with your sword. Okay. There we go. So yeah, the game is just sort of odd about what it, cons it considers how it does respawns. And these guys are back. But they're real, like I said, as long as you're careful and don't rush into a room, they can be really, really nice to grind on. I still would like more bombs, please. Thank you. Guess not. Not getting hit by you jerks. I got four hearts. All right. Oh, come on. All right. We're going to sort of just do our best to avoid him because you actually do have to kill the Zol too. There we go. Yeah, don't try and kill him with your bombs. Just go after him with your, uh, sword. That was strange. Okay, so, yeah, that was... And now we have the MacGuffin. Doom -do -do. I remember. I am the hero of the winds who sailed a vast sea defeated a great evil, and led my people to a new continent for just a kid. What have you done in your life? It's lonely in your head. Don't you have any memories of your own? Look inside yourself. There must be something there. You can't be completely empty, can you? How sad. Then take me with you, and I will be your memory. Then at least there will be something within that lonely mind of yours. So yeah, that is our MacGuffin for this game. We are completing, we are collecting memories. And there are eight. I'm sure that you are completely shocked. Yeah. All right, so we got, we got a pretty nice amount of money. We cap out at 255. So there's a couple things we could do. We could just go straight to level two. I know where it is. Obviously, you probably too, too. It's in Ember Lane Village. But, um, it's not hard. But it's kind of... Well, there's a fair amount of Garayas there. So, since we have... Let's see, do I want to go... Yes, as long as I'm careful. I think what I'm gonna do... Alright, so how about a little shortcut? This should take us where we want to go. Yep. Just move, move really fast. Okay. Yeah, those are bomb chews, as you probably remember from the last time we were up here. So, uh-huh, and these jerks. Sadly, I don't think the, um... I don't think the uh, bomb chew explosion will hurt enemies. So we've got a few things we have to do to just get around. If you be very careful. Good. Good. Yeah, these guys take a lot of hits, but if you've got the magic sword and, you know, at least try not to be a doofus. Yep. And with the blue with the blue mail, of course, as you can see, they're not doing nearly as much damage as they would otherwise. Nothing we can do up here. Die. Okay, so we're gonna go get we've got a little time left. Alright. Yeah, as I said before, this is the Zelda 2 cave Zelda 2 cave music. This stuff gets stuck in your head. There we go. Okay. Yeah, levers. Why do we even have that lever? 
sorry. Ah, I have wanted to do that joke in a Zelda game for a while, so... You got the brunt of it. Okay, Stolfos. They're really, as you can tell, they're really not that big a deal. Well, these aren't. Ah, come through here. Okay. That's nice. Careful when you hit those guys, because they will, they can hurt you. All right. Move. Okay, luckily this is just, quote, just blue rope. If we go down, that'll take us to uh, the Oran Ruins, an area of it that we can't really get anywhere to or from. I hate snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? I actually am quite fond of snakes, just rope are a pain in the ass. Yeah, this game has invisibil invincibility frames. Uh, let's see. What's down here? A lady who sells ammo. Never mind then. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Maybe I can get a heart off of one of these bushes? Of course not. Come on, guys. Alright. Well, we'll keep going this way. We're not in that much danger. Ah! Except from those freaking... Okay, no, I do need to go this way. But, hey, I got a heart. I hate, thank you, I hate these rocks. I, they're, they're really hard to dodge because they are so erratic. See? I deliberately moved and boom. Alright, so we come through here. We come in here. And we've got Garayas, or Moblins. Sorry, these guys are Moblins. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, the Garayas, I'm not really sure where those sprites came from. Yay, bombs! Levers? Uh, they're a pain. Levers are, oh, that was just silly. Okay. You do kind of want to hit them with your boomerang because they it'll stun them and but they can still go underground when stunned because levers die. Yep, there we go again. I'm not leaving until I kill all of you because I would sort of like you to drop a heart. Thank you. You're very considerate, lever. All right. Watch that. Now you're going to have to follow this thing. And I was not. What you're supposed to do is follow right behind it. If you can keep going. Jerk. If you can keep going steadily. Okay. Blue Stalfos. They throw their swords. Keep an eye on the ones behind you. That's sad. And obviously. That. Well, you can see that, but you don't want to go in there yet. So don't even bother bombing it. Okay, this is... Ah, oh, I hate these guys. Uh, so, I don't even remember. I think these are Red Moa. No, they have a different name. From They are from Zelda 2. And they are annoying. They can only be attacked when their eye is open. Luckily, they're not as bad as some other guys who can only be attacked when their eye is open, who I'm sort of thinking we won't run into just yet. But this is actually the passageway that kid told us about. The one that leads to the desert. We're not going to go far enough to reach the desert. Uh, but uh, I'll show you where that actually winds up going. Okay. Just die. Both of you can die. That was a big heart. It will restore up to three. It will give you three hearts back. <sighs> Castlevania gives you five, but that's a different system entirely. Okay. There we go. Just die. Yeah, and you get money, and I like money. Although, it's going to be a little while until we can get... There isn't really much of anything else left to buy, but... 
well, there's... Ow, that was stupid. Okay. All right. Yeah, these jerk ones. Yep. Ah. There we go. Yeah, you see how there isn't a sound of the uh, boomerang hitting him? That's because we were deflecting each other's boomerangs with our boomerang shots. Okay, now if I were to go bomb through that wall, that would lead me to the cave that the rest of the way would go to the desert. Prove your strength. I think that means have five hearts. I think. I'm not sure, because later you can get the uh, magical sword for without having 12 hearts, but I think you just have to get there, but that's just a guess. Alright, so we're gonna head out. I mean, I could stop and save. There's some other stuff here, though, that I sort of really would like to get before heading. While we're out here, there's some stuff I'd like to get before. Oh, yeah, and of course, Zal's now die. Oh, and did you notice? Yeah, the blur's up there. Yeah, those are invisible enemies. Yes, there are invisible enemies. Alright. So... There is some stuff here, so I'm gonna run a little long. Come on, by now with my Pokemon thing, you guys are used to that. Okay. Just, yeah, if you just run, the problem is you've gotta be kidding me. Okay. Yeah, it's nice you can now kill these guys in only a few hits. Come on, die. You're irritating me. You know what? Forget it. Yeah, now these guys, the red red moblins take only one hit and blue moblins take two. Yeah. And get used to this, because you're not going to have the magical sword for a very long time. A while, anyway. So let's just keep heading back as fast as we can. Because, do you remember? I do want to go get that. Uh, that heart piece that we didn't quite, couldn't quite get. Yeah, the rope die a lot faster. Come on. Alright. Come on. Doesn't anybody want to give me a heart piece? Or a, a drop of heart? Oh, well that was just, that was really poor. There we go. Thank you. Okay. But no, I definitely don't want to do that. The nice thing, the, the best way to deal with bomb chews, if you can, is stun them with your boomerang and then hit them with a sword shot. That assume You can also use your, um, what is that thing called? Your slingshot ammo. But sword shots don't require ammo, so that's a thing. And thank goodness, Zol's now die in one hit. This is the the fact that you know I can now kill Zol in one hit is actually the main reason I wanted this shit. Okay. Not for not because the dungeon is hard, but because this way I won't have to deal with um freaking like likes. I won't have to deal. With Zal. Also, uh, boomerangs will not necessarily hit m multiple guys. So keep that in mind. Alright, so we're gonna. Freaking pea hat! There wasn't really a way to dodge that. Okay, there is a thing we could do here that I really don't wanna do yet, so. But now that we have the blue mail and the higher level sword, we're going to come in here and kill these guys. Okay. I'm going to change to this because I don't have 
sword beams, and you do have to kill the P-Hats. Just... Good. Now just keep an eye on that guy while trying to block the fireballs. I hate P-Hats so much. Yes, this is going definitely long, but you guys endured way worse in Pokemon. So. Ow, jerk. And if I stop to save, I'll have to walk all the way back here, which I don't want to do. So. Come on. S just stop in place, please. Oh, I hate it when I get double, t you know, teamed by a, by fireballs. There we go. I hate P-hats. Just come to a stop somewhere so I can kill you, please. I'm on a timer here. For the love of God. For the love of Hylia? Come on. Ugh. And unfortunately, unlike some games, it does not fill our life completely. But that's okay, because I have... I am planning to do one more thing. Ow. Well, that was dumb. All right. Yeah, be careful that you don't get into their fight, into their attack range. Now, if we head up this way, there's some fairly important stuff. We don't want to deal with that. Instead, we're going to come this way. Yes. Ah, tech. Die, you jerk. Well, whatever. If you show this to a witch, yes, yes. So there are potion shops in this game, and uh, I'm not gonna buy a potion. Uh, we're also gonna come down this way. So welcome to the Coast of Tears, which I mentioned before. We can't get anywhere because this is all water, but I think this makes a good place to call it for now. So thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Zelda Classic The Hero's Memory, and I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye.